Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Elvin, owner of Winshine Audio. Another video for LHY Audio product. So I introduced LHY Audio in the previous video. And LHY Audio is a subsidiary brand of Jays Audio, where Jays Audio is known for their CD transport. So LHY Audio subsidiary brand focus in product like this, Master Clock Generator. Uh, this is a pretty special one. It's a battery powered linear power supply where you can plug in a charger here and it charges the battery. When once the battery is fully charged, it can power up devices that require 5 volt and less than 1.2 amp. So this is another product from LHY Audio. And a USB and Bluetooth digital to digital converter. So this guy converts the USB input and the Bluetooth input and output, let me see. I square S, optical, coaxial, and AES EBO to an external deck. So these two products, I'll talk about it in a later video. And this video, I'll focus in this master clock generator. So this LHY Audio OCK1 is a 10 megahertz master clock generator, and it outputs the 10 megahertz upper frequency and it can be connected to the devices that accept 10 megahertz input. So it comes with three outputs. I believe one of them is square wave and the other two are sine wave. So the square wave and the sine wave are different. So it depends very much on the connected equipment. Um, you, you, you need to know the connected equipment whether it accept square wave input or the sine wave input. But in any case, this OCK1 master clock generator can output square wave, sine wave in 10 megahertz. So you know that Dina Philips has this master clock generator as well. And this master clock generator from Dina Philips is kind of different. It outputs 45 megahertz and 42 megahertz. So these two frequency, um, of course it outputs other frequency as well, but there's no 10 megahertz output from Dina Philips master clock. So it is kind of more, it's, it's rare in the market where devices will accept uh, this specific frequency. There will be more devices that can accept um, 10 megahertz. It's really because in pro audio or studio environment, most of the devices uh, accept or the master clock in the studio grade envir studio environment accept 10 megahertz input. Whereas for Dina Philips, um, we use 45 megahertz and 49 megahertz is really because the Netflix believe these are the native clock frequency where the devices uses this clock are uh, arithmetically simpler. So there's no complex PLL circuitry to convert the 10 megahertz to the required 44.1 kilohertz base or 48k kilohertz base. Um, sampling rate. So this is the reason why uh, Dina Philips has this master clock generator that is not in 10 megahertz. But fret not, we have this LHY audio master clock generator for you where it outputs 10 megahertz. So I already have the device uh, loosened up to show you guys what is inside this guy. But uh, just to give you an idea, it, it is made out of um, aluminum casing. This is about 10 mm front panel. And at the back, we have this IEC inlet here. It comes with a fuse holder where you can change the fuse. But I believe it comes with a pretty good quality fuse that you may not need to change to an expensive one. The power switch here allows you to turn on this, this uh, unit and it comes with a blue LED light for illumination. Three outputs, uh, as, uh, as explained previously, one square wave and two side wave. Okay. I already have the four screw loosened. I'll pop this guy open, just like that. Ah, before I forget. So some of you guys are not familiar with BNC cable. So BNC cable looks like this, where the connector is, um, you can just push in the connector and twist it to lock it. So this is BNC cable. Uh, it is avail widely available. So I'll link this cable in the video below so that you guys know what cable I recommend and what, what cable I use in my system. Uh, this is from Soma Cable. There are some other manufacturers that make BNC cable as well. Right, we have this thing here. Let me have my pointer. 
So it's a pretty simple unit where the AC will come in from the IEC inlet. It goes through a few AC filter circuitry for EMI filtering, where it comprises of capacitor, inductor, and a couple of capacitors for filtering purposes. And the filter AC will power up the toroid transformer. And this toroid transformer, I believe, is from Multicom or the company called Noratel. I, I believe both of the company manufacture the same quality transformer. And the transformer step down the AC mains in, uh, voltage to a smaller voltage and this smaller AC will power up the circuitry here. So you spotted the golden color capacitor here and there are some small little diode here. Uh, these are the rectifier where it rectify the AC to DC. And this DC uh, is called direct current. Um, it's still full of ripple and this DC, you can see it's, it's DC but um, it is still uh, not as clean as linear power supply. So there are some DC regulators spotted here to regulate the DC to a specific voltage to supply to this crystal oscillator. Uh, this is not a normal crystal oscillator. This is oven control crystal oscillator where the temperature in this crystal oscillator is pretty much constant where the temperature relatively affect the output frequency at relatively constant temperature the output frequency of this oscillator will be very accurate and precise the output of this OCXO goes through a, a series of circuitry here where it outputs square wave over this BNC connector and it outputs two sine wave over the two BNC connector here so it's a pretty simple uh, device that allows you to try out master clock generator in the system if your equipment accept 10 MHz input. I think that's about it for this LH5 Audio OCK1 master clock generator. In the next couple of videos, I'll talk about the battery linear power supply as well as the USB and Bluetooth DDC. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do subscribe to the channel and hit on the bell button for notification. I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.